Um, Ralph, you, you do seem to be saying very similar things after virtually every game. How frustrating for you personally as a manager is it that whatever you're trying to do on the training ground and telling the players, it doesn't seem to be working? Well, I don't think that that was true today. Um, um, for me, it was uh, one of the best performances since I came here six weeks ago. Um, as I said, we, we controlled the game in the first half hour completely. We could have been two or three nil up. Um, and uh, in the second half, uh, we also played against that with the ball. We had our moments uh, and we played well. And uh, as I said, when you're two nil up after 70 minutes, um, you have to take the three points, and uh, this is what we what, what we didn't manage to do in the end. Bill Thomas, hi Ralph. Uh, have, you've got to teach him to be more street streetwise, more street smart about seeing these games out. Uh, and also, can you just tell us what how come Cristiano was missing because we didn't see your pre match stuff? What the excuse for it? Sorry, I didn't understand the last part of the question. Can you say that again? You're asking why Cristiano didn't play. Was yeah, because he was injured. Uh, um, he still has had problems uh, with his hip flexor. And that's why he couldn't train yesterday. And I spoke with him before and after the training session. And uh, and we decided that it makes no sense to just travel uh, without knowing if he could really play. So he, I, we will see what uh, the situation is like tomorrow. And um, yeah, if he will be available again on Wednesday. Hi Ralph, um, at one in the second half Villa seemed to be a bit more dominant and none of the players, none of the substitutes were warming up. Did you consider a change in that point or did you feel as though you, you had a decent measure of control even though you didn't have as much of the ball? No, I mean obviously after we scored the second goal I was thinking about a back three, uh, switching to a back, back three but my worry was that if we do that that we would be pinned back too much um, in the end, it still happened. So um, if I could do, a, get a, do it again, probably I would probably change uh, and uh, change to a, to a different formation, to a back three. But again, um, after being 2-0 up, uh, it might have been the wrong signal to the team to, to drop too far back. And whenever we play proactive today, whenever we, we, we press them, whenever we put them under pressure, we had our best moments in the game today. Rob Greyfair? Um, hi Ralph, um, Ollie would, would say occasionally earlier in the season that, that the team struggled to deal with setbacks when they came and that it would create a, a sort of a panic situation for you know five or ten minutes. Um, did you feel that was the case after 2-1? After Even at 2-1 you, you could have maybe seen the game out a little bit better but it, it seemed a little bit it ragged towards the end and, and led to the, the second goal happening very, very quickly after the first. Yeah, I don't think that we were panicking, but uh, as I said, we were not as compact as we were in in, in most other parts of the game. Um, and that's why the, the, the two goals that we conceded were, it was just too easy for them to to, to go, to come through and, and, and to dribble and pass through our lines. And therefore, again, uh, this is what we did well in other parts of the game, but we didn't do it well in, in, in those last 10, 15 minutes. Laurie Whitwell? Hi, Ralph. Um, one fewer substitute than Aston Villa on the bench and two goalkeepers. Um, was there a particular reason for that? I know obviously you've had injuries in the team. For example, Anthony Marshall, um, is it a case of him wanting a transfer out so he's not in the squad or is it an injury? Um, just if you could elaborate, please. Yes, uh, he didn't want to be in the squad. Uh, he would have been in the squad uh, normally, but he didn't want to. Uh, and that's the reason why he was not travelling with us yesterday.